Peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Albert Einstein. September 21st, 2022 is the International Day of Peace. The UN General Assembly has declared this as a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace through observing 24 hours of non-violence and ceasefire. Instead of being seen colors or tribes, uh, ethnics, we need first of all to see ourselves as uh, a human being. In a bid to commemorate this day, Big Steps Outreach Network, Bonit Cameroon has organized a roundtable discussion with some civil society organizations, women, youth and religious leaders at the Bonit Conference Hall in Yaoundé to share opinions on priority actions that need to be taken by stakeholders to end racism and build peace. One of our activities that we carry out is building peace, uh, democracy and uh, human rights. So we know that uh, for us to have peace, we need uh, social justice, which is uh, in this light that uh, we decided as an organization to commemorate the International Peace Day under the theme Ending uh, Racism, Building Peace. Because if you look around, you'll notice that uh, the world has been plunged into a number of crises lately, and these conflicts have uh, resulted to internally displaced persons, to people moving out of their own countries to other countries to run away from persecution. And the moment they get into all these other countries, all these other spaces, they become uh, victims of uh, racism, which is not only limited to uh, the color of the skin, we, we also have racism that is being practiced as a result of people having different ethnicities. These participants identified causes and also analyzed the consequences of racism on peace, reviewed the methods implemented by Cameroon to fight against racism. We understand that we need to go back to, to our culture because that's where there is a lot of uh, uh, racism. And you know, modernism has also changed people who forget their roots. And when people forget their roots, it's very easy for people to be in conflict. They evaluated obstacles in the fight against this social ill and most importantly, proposing the way forward. To end all the conflicts and build peace, if we could start at our individual levels by working well in whatever position we find ourselves, by promoting good morals in our children right back at home, in our schools, and even right up to our job site, I think the world would be a better place to live in. One of the manifestations of racism is hate speech, and this has to be everyone's concern. It is important that each of us take a time to reflect on how he wants to construct the world. What is his approach to construct the world in which all the people live in peace? It is important for us to be able to bring something small in the fight against the tribalism and the racism. And all this starts by ourselves. We have a role to play that is important. If we don't have an adapter racist, if we don't have an adapter tri tribalist, it will not be perpetuated in the time. Imagine the world in which everyone is conscious of the fact that humans, irrespective of their skin color or ethnicity, are children of Adam who was from dust, and unto dust it shall return. So let us be spreading love and let us find peace inside so that we can be able to embrace the people who are different from us. The active participation of everyone here testifies the desire to find positive peace reinstalled in the country of many ethnic groups and where armed conflicts have persisted for years. After two and a half hours of opinion sharing with one another, Bonit Cameroon urges the stakeholders to take necessary actions at their individual and collective space of influence to be the change they want to see in the society. World Peace Day is commemorated every September 21st to rekindle the spirit of living together in harmony.